This is a guided walkthrough for the You Either Know, Zor You Don't challenge from CryptoHack.org. And let's get started. OK, so for this challenge, the description here says, I've encrypted the flag with my secret key. You'll never be able to guess it. And the hint here says, remember the flag format and how it might help you in this challenge. OK, so all we've been provided here is is a hexadecimal string over here. And we've also been provided with the hint, remember the flag format, and it will help you in the challenge. So, so I've prepared a little script that is going to solve the challenge. And what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to prepare the script, and then we're going to talk about what's happening in the script before we solve the challenge, OK? So let's go back to, let's go back to the terminal. And I'm going to create a file called no zor don't pi okay so this is good this is the script for the either you use zor or you don't you yeah anyways you know zor you don't and uh let me get the script for this challenge okay so the first thing we're going to do paste in the code okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to import the zor function from the pwn library and that's what the first line does so the next thing we do is we define the encrypted bytes so we've got the um we've got the hexadecimal st string from the challenge and then we turn it into bytes with this um with this method over here so bytes from hex for this hexadecimal over here and we call the um the resulting variable encrypted bytes so the next thing is we do key bytes. So these key bytes are basically um, a byte version of the flag wrapper. And because we know that the flag begins with this, crypto. So we're going to perform a Zor operation between the, uh, the string that we have and this and these bytes over here, which is crypto, because we know that the flag begins with this crypto and then the opening curly brace. So we're going to do the operation and print it like this. So we're going to do Zor on encrypted bytes and key bytes, and then we're going to decode that into ASCII characters. So that's what this script does. Let's save out the script and then run the script. OK, so what do we get? We get a bunch of gibberish. So this is all stuff that, um, this is all, this, it's not all non-printable characters, but they're actually non-printable characters in the output here. So this is not, um, this is not ideal. But we actually get this portion over here, which is called my Zor key. So it could be that this is what is actually being used to for the um to with the Zor. This is the Zor key we would use to get the actual flag. So we're gonna copy this and then we're gonna go back to the Python script. Okay, so what did we figure out? So there might be there might be a different there might be a different key that we need to use in order to get the flag so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute this over here so the the reason we were able to get that um that other key was because we knew part of what the results are supposed to be because remember a zor b equals c so if we know c which is this and we zor it with a then we should be able to get part of um, the B equation for the Zor. So because because we know part of the uh, the C the C string, we're able to get part of the B string, which was which was this, and it's called my Zor E, like this. Okay. 
So now that we've replaced the key bytes here, we're going to save out the script again. Whoops, we're going to save out the script again. And then we're going to run the, run the script one more time. OK, and the result is the key. I mean, sorry, the, uh, the flag. So the flag is crypto. If you know enough, you know it all. All right, so this is a, a, good, a good encapsulation of what it means to do Zor. If you can, if you know the, um, if you know the the values of A and C, then you can get the value of B. If you know the values of B and C, then you can get A, and so on. So let's copy the flag, then go over to Crypto Hack over here in the flag submission field, paste in the flag, and then click on submit flag, and then we're done. All right, so this was a guided walkthrough for the You Either Know, Zor You Don't challenge from CryptoHack.org. If you enjoyed this challenge, if you enjoyed this um, guided walkthrough for the challenge, please click on the like and subscribe buttons on the video and leave a comment below the video. But until next time, Hacker Frogs out. Hey there, Hacker Frogs! Are you enjoying this workshop? Learning new concepts and skills? If so, there's a way you can support the channel. And it's totally free! Just click on the subscribe button below the video. Also, click on the like button. And if you have questions or comments on this workshop, please leave them below the video. Thanks for listening! And now, back to our scheduled programming.